All right, let's bring in Devin Nunes again. Devin, come on back. Listen, I, I got to tell you what, I am outraged by the fact that the FBI was willing to pay Michael Steele a million dollars to verify the salacious Trump's uh, the, uh, charges against Donald Trump. I mean, I, I can't believe this is the action of the FBI and the DOJ. Well, it's, it's much worse than that. The, the supposed source, Million, that David was just mentioning in that report, you have to remember, this was not someone that had ties to Trump. Okay, this is somebody who claimed to have ties to Trump, who didn't have ties to Trump, but who did Million have ties with? Well, he had ties with who? The FBI. Uh -huh. He was also, now we learn today, that he was a CHS, or a confidential human informant. Plus, these guys are all working for the Department of Justice. They're either, and they're working for the DNC. So this wicked web here that Durham has now outlined for everyone after we in Congress did it back in 2018, Durham has now got the goods on many people in the FBI and the Department of Justice and the Clinton campaign and the DNC. And I think that the list would be shorter of who of these characters was not being paid right. by the FBI and the DNC than the list would be for people that were. I mean, it's, it's just absolutely ridiculous. And, you know, and hopefully, you know, I think what we saw in D.C., we saw someone skate because it's 95 percent of the people there vote for the Democrats. This whole system has become corrupted. Hopefully in Virginia, there'll be a more of a fair jury there because I will tell you, and I've been saying this for many, many years, if people do not go to jail, the trust in the FBI is going to go even farther down with Republicans and conservatives in this country. Right. And I'm not sure how much farther it can go, but you're beginning to hear people talk about it's time that we change or disband the FBI. That will become louder and louder and louder if there's not a prosecution in this case and if Durham is not continued, allowed to continue the investigation into what is clearly a conspiracy to break many laws by the Clinton campaign, the DNC, and the FBI. Devin, I only have 30 seconds, but uh, it's my understanding that uh, Google just approved True Social, you're the CEO of the company, for yeah. access off its Play Store. Tell me about it. <laughs> well, look, thank God, right? We, have, we are now, True Social is now available in every phone in the United States. We've been waiting for several months. Uh, but look, we understand that. Uh, this is, you know, we're a, a free speech platform, and we know that the tech companies have been doing a lot of suppression. So the fact that Google approved us today is good for good for free speech, good for America, and obviously good for True Social and our users. So we look forward to people that have Android phones joining up for True Social. Devin Unison, good for democracy. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it.